Amen, amen, amen. It got here today. Give an honor to the pastor, amen. Pastor Bishop King, amen. And Bishop King again, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for Bishop McNeil. And uh, thank God for the church, Apostolic Church of God, amen. Thank God for my wife, the late Lady Jones, and all. And all the saints of the living God today, we give God the praise again. I thank God for Mel and some of Mel that came up and followed us up. Praise I'm going to be brief. I'm going to be out your way. I'm not, I'm not the main speaker. We deal with the foundation, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. If the foundation be destroyed, yes. what shall the righteous do? I want to encourage y'all today to be mindful of holiness. Amen. Yes. I wasn't raised in holiness. I came in. When I got filled with the Holy Ghost and baptized in Jesus' name, amen? Yes. I was one of the ones that God drafted in. Yes. But I've seen things change, yes. even since I've been in holiness. Yes. People are changing. Yes. People, are, even in gospel music, bishops are changing. Yes. People are trying to stay relevant. Yes. Amen? There was one man of God, one bishop, I'm not going to call a name because I'm not a name dropper. All right. But they had a celebration and they was dropping it like it was hot. Jesus. Hey. Shameful. Hey. In the house of God. Hey. I don't know about you, but if I wanted to go to a club, I would have stayed there. Hey. But I never came to the house of God and got filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey. What are we going to change, praise the Lord? If the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Praise the Lord. That comes from the book of Psalms. Chapter number, number 11 and verse number 3. I got it all written down. If the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Everything is coming into the church today. Yeah. Everything. The standard of God is dropping. Yeah. Holiness ain't holiness no more. Yeah. It ain't no more, praise the Lord. Everything goes in the house of God. People's praying wine, praise the Lord. Swapping wine in the house of God. If the foundation be destroyed. If the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? We'll change it. We'll change it. We'll change it to the point that I'm going to get a look around at some home in the church and wonder, did I make a mistake? Because I thought coming over the holiness was right. And I know it's right. Holiness is right. Every day and every night. I know I made the right choice, praise the Lord. But when I see holiness changing, when I see holiness changing down, what shall the righteous be? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Ephesians chapter number 2 and verse 19. 19 and 20, 19 through 22. And the word of God says, it say? Now therefore, yeah. we are no more strangers yeah. and foreigners, yeah. but fellow citizens with the saints and the household of God. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles, prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Oh my goodness. Everything that we do needs to emulate what Jesus does. If Jesus would do it, praise the Lord, we need to do it. If Jesus would do it, don't do it. Hallelujah. And the Bible goes, in whom are all the building framed, fitly framed together, growing unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. Oh my Lord, praise the Lord. I look around and I see these people here to y'all. I can see y'all love Jesus. And not only do you love Jesus, you love holiness. You love holiness, praise the Lord. Get me, oh my goodness. The last scripture I'm going to go to, I'm going to get out the way. First John chapter number 2, yeah. verse number 15 through 16. It said, love not the world. Love not the world. Don't love the swag of the world. Don't love the mannerism of the world. Don't love the dress code of the world. If the world is good, don't love it. I'm not fixated on the world. Every day I wake up is a blessing from God. And I never take that from God. And let me let y'all know my secret. Every day you wake up is a blessing from God too. Yeah. Ain't nothing make you so special. Ain't nothing make me so special. God does not have to wake us up. So when he wakes us up in the morning, we may as well determine I'm going to walk home in the day. I'm going to talk home in the day. I'm going to live home in the day. I'm going to be home in the way I act. I have to myself. If the foundation 
foundation be destroyed. If the foundation be destroyed. And it goes on to say, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, 